Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta.Exchange and Tradex.Live. Markets fell for second straight day. The Nifty fell 250 points on top of 200 points fall on Friday. It's a 450 points fall in just two trading sessions. And this is a worst two-day fall, if I'm not wrong, in the year 2024. Even the Israel market was up 1.5% today. European markets were higher, US markets were higher. So everywhere it was green, but we fell like anything. So this shows that, you know, uh, a tax issue, Mauritius tax treaty issue is worse than the war. Only last week I came out with a video uh, about uh, tax terrorism. And in fact, many of my followers, you know, they did not like the title. They said, sir, you could have avoided the word terrorism, okay. Uh, but you see what is happening now, okay. Uh, in fact, uh, this FPA taxation, Mauritius tax treaty issue is related to only Mauritius based FPAs, not for all of them. That's number one. Number two, even the Mauritius based FIAs also, uh, it does not apply to everybody. Uh, Already, the Mauritius-based FPAs have been paying capital gain tax those who came and invested after 2017. But the government of India told them those who have invested before 2017, they need not pay capital gain tax. Uh, that is called something called grandfathering uh, effect, a grandfathering class. But now suddenly, the government of India come and say, those who invested even before 2017 also have to pay the tax. So that was, you know, like, you know, uh, the people say that, you know, there is no credibility. Once you make a promise, okay, you have to keep up the promise. In 2017, you came and said that, you know, those who invest after 2017 must pay capital gain tax. Those who have done be be before that, they need not pay tax. Now they say, you know, now the government of India says, you know, now also it is uh, not a problem, but you know, there is something called, you know, you have to prove that, okay, uh, you are originally from Mauritius, okay, uh, maybe you are based out of some other country, just because to avoid the capital gain tax, you have chosen Mauritius, okay, they call it as PPT, anyway, I will come out with a separate video about this, okay. So, uh, you know, one section of FPA, Okay, one country based FPA, uh, out of that also one section and if that the government of India talk about taxation, see the way markets are reacting. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, until last Thursday, the Nifty and Bank Nifty was very good. It was, uh, both were technically long, but Friday morning itself, I told you, it was out of my experience in the last 15 years. Many times as and when this FPA taxation issue came, but the markets fell uniformly. In fact, markets fell 8-10%. Now also, we are just only two days. We don't know. Okay. Uh, so, the thing is that, you know, but this time, you know, may, maybe we are different. You know, last time and all as and when this came, okay, the domestic institutions were not that powerful. And now, the domestic institutions are too much power compared to the uh, FIAs. And probably that is the reason why the government of India suddenly come out with this kind of taxes. So, uh, this material news, Mauritius tax treaty issue, has reversed the uh, trend in Nifty and Bank Nifty. But I would still say that uh, no Nifty or Bank Nifty is not short. Okay, but at the same time, it is not long. Also, maybe we can maintain some kind of a uh, neutral view maybe 22,000 to 23,000. But today, the bank Nifty has fallen 800 points despite the lower consumer price inflation data that came on Friday. You know, global markets recovery, nothing. Okay. In fact, Nifty made about 150 point recovery intraday, but that intraday recovery was sold into once again. So, it was a very, very uh, how to say, the closing was at the uh, very near the lowest end of the day point. 
So technically, that is actually not a good thing. But however, uh, European markets are higher, US markets are higher, you know, and today uh, FIAs have sold less than what DAs have bought. So FIAs have sold for about uh, 3,200 crores and whereas the domestic institutions have bought for 4,600 crores. So let us hope that market, you know, uh, stabilizes at least here, uh, not continue to fall. Uh, TCS is quite disappointing. As expected in the morning, there was a short covering, but that short covering rally was sold into again. And another big disappointment is HDFC Bank and ICSA Bank. HDFC Bank and ICSA Bank alone contributed for about 80 point fall in Nifty and uh, more than 400 point fall for Bank Nifty. So these two stocks, you know, uh, that shows clearly that, you know, markets are getting jittery about HDFC Bank result which is likely to come on Saturday. So, Infosys result, I think it is on Thursday, I think. Infosys result on Thursday and Saturday HDFC bank result. So, they hold the key, but uh, you know, markets are not going into the result season with a lot of optimism. Despite good results, TCS, you know, rally is uh, short-lived. So, uh, looking at the open interest, no need to talk about open interest. People are closing their eyes and selling a call options. And uh, people, you know, uh, will focus more on Bank Nifty and because, you know, Bank Nifty expiry is tomorrow and day after tomorrow is a local holiday. So, Bank Nifty 48,000 call option uh, is having a high open interest and that is about 200, 300 point away. And however, 48,000 to 48,500, there was a series of call writing. So, let us hope that tomorrow market you no, know, does at least some kind of recovery, at least stabilizes, if not, uh, you know, uh, rising. But US markets are, you know, looking very bullish. So, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.